Controlling Volunteer and Routine Cotton is really community outlook as we're all in it together. Hi, I'm Shana Holman. I'm a Cotton Info Biosecurity Tech Lead and based in Emerald in Central Queensland. Controlling Volunteer and Routine Cotton is a key part of any resistance management plan and is also really important for disease management and insect population control. They play a major risk factor in several viruses and soil-borne diseases. They can act as a host crop and increase pathogens and increase the risk of diseases such as verticillium, black root rot and fusarium. This can harbour pests over winter, increasing the likelihood of early season infestation. For growers, this can increase control costs and can also potentially lower yield. Registrations are now in place for growers to be able to control large volunteer cotton and return cotton. Growers can use cultural control methods such as chipping in refuges as well as cultivation. If a grower finds volunteer cotton within their refuge crop, it's really important to remove it as soon as possible. This is important because it increases the risk of resistance developing in helicoverpin moss. Controlling volunteer and return cotton is important at a field level, a farm level and an area-wide management level. 